طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم في سادس امسيات رمضان في منبر مبادرة الباحثين السودانيين وحنبدأ البرنامج الثاني بتاعنا اللي هو نادي مخاطبة اللغة الإنجليزية معنا أساتذة متطوعين من أساتذة اللغة الإنجليزية في مدارس ومعاهد مختلفة هيعرفونا بنفسهم وهم اللي هيبدوا التأسيس بتاع نادي المخاطبة ده يعني نادي المخاطبة بتاعت اللغة الإنجليزية يعني شنو يستفيد منه شنو كيف الناس يستفيدوا إلى آخره فشكرا جزيلا لكم يا أساتذة والله ممنون لكم جدا يا أخوان نرحب بهم السلام عليكم رمضان كريم آه انا اسمي محمد الانصار حسين آه درست هندسه نفط في جامعه الخرطوم وشغال هسه حاليا استاذ بتاع اللغه الانجليزيه في مدارس ستابس عامر آه السلام عليكم آه انا عامر عمر آه درست اقتصاد جامعه وادي النيل أستاذ في معهد لي دي سي انجلش ديسكشن سنتر وأستاذ في مدرسة تشالنج انترناشونال سكول جايين الليلة نعمل انجلش كلوب نادي مخاطبة وكلنا هنشارك وهنستفيد إن شاء الله السلام عليكم رمضان كريم أنا عبد الله صالح أستاذ لغة إنجليزية في مدارس تشالنج العالمية إن شاء الله كلنا نستفيد من بعض إن شاء الله السلام عليكم مساء السلام عليكم مساء الخير كيف صحتكم يا شباب؟ ان شاء الله طيبين بس يا هلي تسعه مدينه نحن دايرين سقطت ما سقطت صابنا صابنا للابد ان شاء الله آه طيب آه اسمي غيث عبد الكريم حسن آه 23 سنه شغال آه استاذ في مدارس ادريس العالميه شغال استاذ في معهد آه فيجن للغه الانجليزيه آه وان شاء الله نحن حنكون معاكم من يوم الليله وقدام وحنأسس البرامج على الإنجليش كلوب ده وإن شاء الله كلنا نقدر نستفيد ونطلع بحاية تفيد إن إحنا شخصياً وتفيد البلد إن شاء الله قدام الله يكرمكم يا شباب طوالي أبدو يا أخوانا تيكر لنشيتيب طيب يا شباب نحن جينا هنا بهدف انه دايرين نعمل انجلش كلوب ال ونس انه نحن بدينا وي ويل سبيك اونلي انجلش يا شباب الهدف الاساسي من الحاجه دي انه الناس تستفيد من زمنها وتنمي القدرات بتاعتها واحده من القدرات دي اللي نحن شايفينها مهمه لقدام انه تو سبيك انجلش بروبرلي اند فلوينتلي تمام ف يا ريت يعني الناس اللي ورا دي يحاولوا يجوا لقدام عشان بعدين لما نبدا الدسكشن اذا ينفع يدي نقدر نصل يعني بالمايك طيب يا شباب uh, do you have any suggestions for topics that we should discuss today yes السلام عليكم انا اي وونت تو معلش يعني كل انجليزي وعربي يعني الناس كلها تفهم معانا احنا الناس دي دايرين شو ممكن صح نحن دايرين نعرف دوركم في شباب بتقدموا لنا شنو في علاقاتنا مثلا بتكون خارجيه لقدام Uh, thanks for this question. Uh, actually, we are seeking to uh, publish a great announcement for the whole world that uh, what is being done here in the, within this part of the country has to be shown for the public or for the whole world. So uh, English, as it's known to be an international language, uh, being spoken all around the world, We need to send our message that uh, our revolution is getting successful and we have seen it clearly here within this part of the country. In we want to show the world all in our language, in our language, in We are able to do what they have done. We are able to be what they have been. Any thing that people see is that it's supposed to be discussed here in this place. And people give us suggestions. آه الريفولوشن بتاعتنا ما محليه بس الريفولوشن بتاعتنا عالميه يعني احنا عايزين كل العالم يعرف انه آه هنا في شباب واعي مثقف آه able to think and create things clearly 
وكل الشباب ذا هنا حيشاركونا وحيبدوا بارائهم وي نيد اوبينيونز ان اوردر تو بي ديسبلايد انا هذا كويس في زول عنده سؤال استفسار يا اخواننا اقتراح لان احنا السلام عليكم ورحمه الله الدين ورد الدين while the whole world is talking about uh, women empowerment here in sudan the revolution has been led by the kandakat what you got to, to say about our kandakat um, a few days ago uh, a few days ago i was watching a video talking about women especially the queens or al kandakat in other words um, the whole world now is talking about women in Sudan and what they're doing and how they're contributing actively to the revolution and how they helped um, the, other, uh, the other men to achieve their goals along the way and how they have been so active and uh, yes, how they have been so active in the revolution. Um, now, the Sudanese women are known all over the world uh, by their contribution to the uh, revolution and how they have always been um, an, um, an add to the revolution uh, and now they know يعني العالم كله عارف انه الكندكات هم كيف ساهموا في في الثوره وكيف نجحوها وكيف وصلوها للمرحله اللي هي فيها هسه حاليا فحاليا هم عارفين الحاجه دي هلا um just due to the question that you've asked uh, the um, that the kandak uh, or the kandakat and and their picture that the the, the 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 world that they see their women with um i would like to 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 congratulate first women for being the mo the main um supportive force for our revolution and let me say clearly and undoubtedly and and i will repeat it one million times that without those women without those kandakat we would have never been in such position right now no regime no regime um would have been dissolved um and none of the 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 the, the the great things that we did as Sudanese nation would have been done uh, if those women they did not go on the street with us they did not fire the tear gas with us they did not throw back the tear gas at, at the police force they did not just only protected um, us and, and stood with us um, line to line when um, bu uh, bullets were shot um, to our bare chest the main support and let me repeat that again they are being the main support for this revolution and right now the thing that um, confirms that the picture of the Sudanese women have been changed or has been changed sorry is that um, I don't know in, in, in France or in one of the European countries uh, five or six um, days before uh, they had a celebration for uh, the labor force or the workers uh, there. And one of the astonishing things that um, made my tears go down is that the main sign or um, the main sign that they lifted is um, a picture of one of our Kandakas. And I'm proudly um, I'm, I'm, I'm proudly saying that uh, this picture um, that reflected the main or the core essence of, of, of our revolution that women they are able to do women they are able to perform women they are able to create not only um, locally but internationally such picture uh, has shown the world what is the real Sudanese women is and this is one of the things that shows that the, the, the voice of our revolution first has reached the corners of, of the world and the, the, the voice of the woman has reached there also and the picture of the Sunnis woman has been changed 110%.
So, um, great applause for those uh, women. I will never forget such um, effort. So, any question? Yes. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله، أنا ناصر محمود، هو سأعطينا مجرد اقتراح، أعتقد أن الناس مفترض تعرف مفاهيم المواطنة في الدولة المدنية، بيكلموا في الروتس، هاو تو بي أبوت سيتيزن إن سيفيل كونتري الناس محتاجة تفهم أنا كمواطن فهمت كيف؟ توريجنال المواطن ذاته أنا عشان أكون أبوت سيتيزن إن ذيس سيفل كونتري هاو ثانك يو So he was asking about the, the, uh, the citizenship. How could I be a good citizen for uh, my community and for my country? Um, let me briefly um, summarize the answer in, in, in a, a saying or a quotation of a, fa uh, a famous uh, revolutionary um, and uh, Mahatma Gandhi, if we know him. Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, he once said that uh, be the change that you want to see in the world. This is the core essence of how to be a good citizen. Um, all of us, we, we agree that each single one of us could contribute with a, uh, how can I say, that small or uh, a little amount of, of, of help in our community in order to, to, to develop the country. But we cannot develop the country if we did not develop ourselves first, if we did not correct the wrong things within us, and if we do not be good citizens. So to be a good citizen is to be, firstly, a good human being, um, a good performer to your country and to your society, not to harm others. Always be supportive, not to let people down, not to... to, to, to um, to overcross the, the, the laws of, of, of the country, to respect each other and to be with each other in, in, in good and worse and to help each other and to know that um, law is the supreme power above all of us. So all of us as citizens, we are under the umbrella of law. No one can overcross um, a single law and all of us should to help each other and to have good faith in each other that we can uplift this country from um, the dark let me say hole that we are in right now to reach the highest peaks of hope so i think that it is how to be a good citizen start with itself and the change is going to uh, spread somewhere. another question Can you speak about freedom? Uh, actually, his question was about freedom. And the thing is, we should not um, be the only people who speak here. We need others, okay, amongst you who can tell or say anything that they know about freedom. So if you have anything to say, please let me see your hand so that you speak. Yes? I think freedom has a lot of uh, different faces. You have uh, freedom of uh, religion. You have freedom, uh, freedom of uh, expression. You can say whatever you want. You can believe in whatever you want without someone else forcing you to believe in only one religion or to have a certain uh, kind of faith or something like that. Freedom means you choose what you want to do in life, what you love to do. Freedom, I mean, it's about...
put you uh, why Allah put you in Sudan not in some Uh, what can I do uh, to be in, uh, to be good in English language, or I talk uh, as fluent in my uh, high school or uh, university without need to go to uh, institutes or something like that? And how can I uh, achieve knowledge from uh, social media in uh, 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 so? Uh, uh, how can I be good in English language from social media? And what you? Uh, uh, advise us to uh, uh, follow on social media. Thank you. Uh, okay, I think you can get the best advice from uh, our oldest here, Mr. Hat, Mr. Ahmed, because he's yes, he has the most experience. So please tell him about. Uh, actually, I'm not uh, the best uh, in giving advices for people who are learning, but throughout my experience, I've learned that this is an independent. Uh, job to do. If you need to really develop yourself, you've got to practice English more often. Uh, practicing does not mean that you've got to start speaking all the time or you have to seek that you have to speak without having knowledge in your mind or vocabulary in your mind. Some people uh, make it very difficult by saying that grammar is the most worst things or the worst things in English. You've got to practice it. No, forget about grammar now, start by reading. Get every knowledge that you need to feed your mind with. So after you feed your mind with knowledge, ideas, vocabulary, and so on and so forth, you are going to find yourself you are easy to practice English with, uh, with whoever, uh, whenever you have a time to do so. Uh, practice English needs you to be patient. To be patient, sorry. A little bit. Yeah, it takes time in order to reach the highest level of English, but it needs you to be patient, to practice it whenever you have a time. Start by reading, read short texts or short uh, stories, interesting ones. Uh, after that, have listening practice in order to get the knowledge or to get the input of the knowledge uh, in a good way or in a proper way. Um, output, which is writing and speaking, will come automatically after you develop your input, which is uh, reading and listening. So try to focus on that. You need to input first in order to output second. So getting the things done. Uh, properly inside your mind will enable you to be fluent in writing and speaking as easy as you can in a short time. Okay. Another question? Thank you. <coughs> My name is Aydar Abdelhim Oswar Saleh. I have a suggestion. Uh, now we are English club. We need to learn English. So there is someone here, maybe know to speak English language or to understand English language. But there is others who uh, have no skills or have no chance to speak English because they are don't know. So my suggestion uh, to fix one topic, uh, and after that, anyone try to speak in this topic with few words, and uh, from you uh, add uh, other word maybe used in this topic and uh, we discuss uh, this topic from the language from vocabulary from the grammars from different view this is from you i think this will be valuable for everyone here to understand and to learn english in the future okay um, uh, i need one of you to suggest a topic. I need one of you to suggest a topic. Do you have any topic in mind? Or topics, then we can vote on one and pick it. Choose it to, to spend the rest of the day uh, speaking about it. 
Uh, how to make our country better? Thanks, Amar. Uh, his suggestion is uh, how to develop our country, how to make our country seems better. Uh, any other suggestion? Uh, I have heard many people talking about our identity. We are not yet uh, convinced by that are we Arab or uh, African. So our, our identity, this topic should be discussed in public, but I don't know whether people are aware of it or not. Until now we have two topics. The first one is how can we make Sudan better? The second one, the Sudanese identity. What is our real identity as Sudanese people? Yes? I'm sorry for this second. I think uh, we try to uh, find simple topic. I suppose education, that maybe everyone can talk about education. Any other suggestion? No, there are three. Three. We have um, education. Uh, how can we make our um, country better and uh, our identity? Are we Arab or Africans? Um, um, I want to ask you, since all of you are uh, English teachers, what would you suggest to change the the old school method of English teaching. This, uh, the, this method that we have been using for about centuries uh, right now, it has proven that it's not going to teach English. Students are not going to learn from these grammar rules and all these structures. What would you suggest to choose instead of the old school method? And in the same category of education, yes. As seen all over the country, there is um, a, countless, a countless number of international schools nowadays. A lot of international schools, right? There are many international schools that teach English um, in um, or um, in a, an international uh, curriculum. Like the, the English taught at uh, international schools um, uh, is way too difficult compared to the English language um, taught in uh, the uh, governmental and private schools, for example. So if, if uh, many students join uh, the international schools, they will be able to practice English more um, actively, and they will get the most out of international schools. That's my... Actually, before we get into this one, we need to vote on the topics that we had. Uh, the first one was uh, how to make our country better. The second one, uh, identity, and speaking about educational system in Sudan. So we need your votes. Uh, if you vote for the first one, just let us see your hands so that we can keep count. How can we make our country better? No, the first country is how can we make our country better? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, the second one, Sudanese identity. Sudanese, are we, are we Sudanese or Arabs? Or African, sorry. Okay. Uh, the third one is the educational system in Sudan. How can it be fixed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I see, uh, we speak about uh, the educational system in Sudan. So one of the people who voted for it should start. Huh. I'll start by you because the, you're the one who suggested it. to talk about the education at the first we have to identify the education uh, education uh, it is a system uh, conducted in the country uh, it started from an early time uh, so as to learn the individual uh, to do things how to live in the, uh, in the in the home and how to live out of the home how to live out the world uh, how to do with others uh, how to do your the whole uh, individual in the communities and in the world and in your countries and uh, something like this. This is the that means you are a successful individual and you are uh, uh, make things to be productive 
uh, the community, uh, this thing will be valuable for the community. This as general. So as to get this, uh, education is, is started from an early time when you are a child, you educated from your father and your mother, they uh, educate you how to uh, take care about yourself, how to take care about uh, your uh, things, and uh, how to talk, how to, uh, how to know this thing is uh, good and this thing is bad. And after that, you will uh, go uh, to the primary school, uh, maybe before the primary school is the uh, 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 preparation schools and after that the primary schools uh, after you finish the primary school going to the secondary school after the secondary school you're going to the university and in the university there is uh, different studies you will select depend on your uh, uh, ability and depend on your uh, the thing which you choose from the secondary school and after that you will graduate it and work uh, after that you will come to serve the community the thing which i um, uh, said at the first so uh, i'm teaching now in the university i'm teaching uh, medical laboratory uh, i think uh, the system of education in sudan have many problems uh, it started from an early time uh, one of the problems, uh, main problems, uh, the English language. Now we have a student in the university, they are not able to uh, uh, do anything in the English language, even in the writing, in the exam, in the test, in the maybe writing their names, you know. Uh, so we have a problem in the English language from the primary schools, secondary schools, and uh, that, uh, that uh, this problem uh, uh, be clear in the university when the students are starting uh, to contact the world. And now you are uh, so as to contact the world. Now you need English language. We need to read any book. If you read to, if you need to uh, read stories. If you need to uh, talking about the sport. Everything you need to know English language so as to understand this thing. So uh, that will reflect on the academic level of the student. If you find one of the students have a good English language, you will see his results is good. And that one who have no skills in the English language, his result will be bad. That not because he is not uh, good or not uh, intelligent, no. But his problem is in English language. So we need to put English language from the base uh, from primary school, secondary school, and after that, uh, when the, when uh, get to the university, will be able to speak English, to understand English, and to do everything with English. This is uh, my <laughs> thank you very much. Uh -huh. Others, do you have anything to say? Good then. Let me ask you a clear and direct question. Do you love the education system right now in Sudan? No. You love it? No, no, no. Come on, I cannot hear you. Do you love it? No, no. Good then. Are you good with it? No, no. Good then. Um, do you see any problems in, in, in the current education system? Yeah. Do you see any problem in our education system? Yeah. A lot? Yeah. A lot? Good then. So hit me with the problem. Uh, give, give us the problem and maybe that we can reach a um, satisfying solution or answer for, 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 uh, for your problem. So uh, what are the things that disturb you or uh, you feel that it is bad uh, within our education system? What are the bad things in our education system? Yes? <coughs> Make it closer. Uh, in uh, first uh, year of uh, high school, we have uh, more than 14 or 15 uh, subjects. Uh, yeah, I mean, the uh, students are not able to do it. So, I mean, people, if they talk about the school they are not able to do it, or the school they are not able to do it, it will be a big deal. I mean, I see that in the science, it has no relation to the school. Then, after 15, 16, 17, بيشيل مني زمن وبيشيل مني مجهود كبير شديد فالحتة دي يعني شايف انها يعني بتاخد زمن الطالب 
حتى من اجتماعيات وحياته الثانية الكثيرة بمارسها حتى الرياضة يعني انت بتلقى نفسك وماخذة منك زمن كثير شديد بنقرا في سنه اولى قلنا بنقرا 15 17 ماده صح هي ما انتم متذكرين معنا صح؟ صح صح يعني فانا لما احصل سنه سنه ثالثه والحته المفروض امتحن فيها بلقى نفسي امتحنتها سبع مواد في الوقت ذاك البقيه دي مشت وين؟ ما عندها ما لقيتها ثاني نهايه انا خالص يعني بقرا زحمه 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 مبالغه عادي فهذه كانت واحده من المشاكل اللي كانت بتواجهنا في الزمن شكرا uh, guys, it's an English club, so you should speak English, please. Uh, try, I know it's very hard to you, but try your best to speak English only. Uh, as for myself, uh, your question was, how can we better the educational system? Or how can we make our students speak English better? Yes. Uh, English as a subject, it's not only rules. The thing that we used to study back then in time when we were students is that it's all, it was all about grammar. Even the teacher inside the class, he was speaking Arabic, but when it came to explaining grammar rules, he was speaking in English. Otherwise, even the English lesson is Arabic. It's done in Arabic, right? This, is, this was the first problem. Uh, now I'm a teacher, I teach uh, teenagers, and I used to teach adults. Uh, if you wanted to make the students learn English, you should force them to speak English only. You should force them to be in an environment that is English language practicing in the first place. Did you get it? Uh, I cannot say to you you should speak only in English if I know you spend all of your day speaking Arabic and you have nobody else to speak English with. This will be so difficult. Okay? Another thing is that we as uh, Sudanese people, we watch TV a lot but we don't get any benefits from it. Uh, one of the things, I, I guess, since uh, the crowd here, all of you watch NBC2, for example, right or not? NBC Action. Most of the programs are in English. While you are watching, you don't pay attention to get, a, 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 let's say, a phrase or a word or a, an expression in English. Did you get that? If you put it in your mind's eye that you want to learn English only, then everything around you will be an English lesson. You want to say, for example, I want dates, okay? You know it in Arabic, but you should test yourself, do I really know it in English? This is it. Comparing your Arabic language with your English language will tell you how inept when it comes to English language you are. How can you become adept at it is, is by trying, is attained by trying to balance between the two of them. Did you get it? One of the activities that I do is that I don't normally teach the, the, the same old way. I bring a movie, okay, and I cut some parts from the movie and I let the students watch. After they are done watching the video, I write some of the expressions that were said in the video. Then I let them read it and see, did they get it the same way they were said in the video or not? This will teach them to read better and listen better, okay? The third thing would be is the meaning. What was meant by the expression said? This will tell me if they were focusing on the video or not, because sometimes you know the meaning of a word, but the context doesn't mean the meaning you say. Did you get it? You can't get it unless you fully focus on what's being said. Uh, after that, I, I explain the, the expressions to them in case they missed it or they were new to them. Then I replay the video. The, the second time they watch it, they, they fully comprehend everything said in it. A further step is that they like some expressions that they hear and they, tur uh, they turn to practice natural without being forced to do so. You get it? This is what I think should be done and this is what I do. Uh, so, any chance for any other person? Yes? I'm not talking about practicing and I'm not talking about uh, speaking. If you force me to speak, and I, uh, for example, if I'm shy, or if, if, if someone else will laugh at me or will judge at me, I will never speak again. But I'm, I'm talking about the, the, the input that you were talking about. In school, they're not focusing about input. They're not focusing about listening. They're not focusing about meaning. They're not focusing about stories. They're just focusing on grammar rules, structures, how to put he before the verb or after the verb. For example, for me, I've spent a lot of time in school learning English. But after I graduated school, I couldn't speak English fluently. Why? Because I didn't listen enough. Listening, I think, for, uh, for me, listening, 
comes first then comes speaking after that comes reading and writing for example how all of you learn your native language Arabic how did you learn Arabic by listening when you were born you listen to TV to your family to your brother cousins that's right you spent maybe about two to three years just listening 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 repetitive listening for example maybe you you hear one phrase ten times different days you, you hear it today and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow one week two weeks repetitive listening let the phrase uh, be in your subconscious mind then when you start to speak you just open your mouth and you speak without worrying about grammar rules without worrying about even the vocabulary I think we should focus more on listening from my book's personal experience I've learned English only by listening I found some course with the teacher A.G. Hogg, if you uh, heard about it. He just focused on listening. When I started listening, I, my English was uh, was zero, like I like, like to say. Just focusing on listening, and then after that, speaking, reading, writing. Thank you. Uh, there's one more thing. As you listen, you can write down some sentences or phrases that you have listened, and then try to memorize them the way they are. And then try to repeat uh, right after the native speakers so as to know how to pronounce words the same way they pronounce them get it? but what I think is memorization kills creativity if you just memorize you will speak without feeling the, the words the language that you're talking about Memorization kills creativity and language has infinite possibilities. You can say every second a no, uh, a no brand uh, sentence that no one has ever said before. Yes, uh, actually I completely agree with you. This is the thing that I said from the beginning. Is that it's all about the environment. Uh, if you want to acquire any language, they say the best scenario for, it, for you to learn it is to sit with people who speak the language, right? If you want to learn uh, Indian, you should go to India and stay with Indian people who speak Indian most of the time, right? The same thing goes for English. But the challenge here is that we live in Sudan and, for example, my parents, they do not speak English. So how can I speak English if I spend most of the time with my parents who do not speak English? Uh, the solution that I presented was through movies. You watch movies, of course. I mean, a lot of the people who are sitting here, they watch movies, they listen to songs, right? In English. Yes, we listen to entertain ourselves, but not to learn. And uh, this is the main thing. The main thing that matters is that do you really want to learn or not? Some people listen to a lot of, in, uh, a lot of songs, English songs, but they don't know what is being said in the song, right? Some of the people, they want to learn English. They maybe listen or like only five or six or ten English songs, but they fully understand them. They know the good expressions in them. They know how to use the expressions said in these songs. Did you get it? So the more you widen this, uh, let's say, material that you get, the more fluent or the more uh, good at English will you turn. Did you get it? This is it. Yes, it, it all starts with the environment. Now, this is what we are trying to make here, environment for people to speak English. As I said, you don't have to be very good at it, but you get good at it by practicing it. Now today, people are hearing. Tomorrow, you'll find them trying to speak. After tomorrow, you'll find them speaking, but not that fluent. After a month, you'll find them speaking fluently. This is how it goes, step by step. Uh, any other, yes? Uh, what I don't agree with you in is that listening all the time might be the best and the most uh, skill that you should focus on in order to develop yourself. Uh, here you're neglecting uh, a very important part which is writing. Here your writing is going to be not that much accurate. In order to really practice English you've got to focus with your input. This is what I've mentioned at the beginning of this talk. Uh, practicing input means that you've got to read first then write you have mentioned that the first skill to develop a child focus a child is by listening you're gonna hear that your parents are speaking so you get a phrase and then you practice it the same way that your parents are saying it right but now you are an adult you can figure out the figures of the uh, language which are the letters you can read them you can write them down got it 
by developing your listening yeah you might have a good accent you can speak fluently simply i've been teaching english listening for around two years uh, yeah, I know it's very important to develop your listening skills in order to develop your speaking skills. But here you are neglecting a very important part, which is reading in order to develop your writing. Reading in order to develop your speaking and writing in the same way. By reading, you are going to feed your mind with words, structures of sentences, and so on. You are not in need of memorizing words. Yeah, you are not in need of memorizing the spelling. But you will be given lots of expressions. You can memorize them the same way. I say them, say them, say them the same way I write them even the same way so reading can help you in both skills which are writing and speaking I mean the output well, uh, here in Sudan the idea of reading is not that interesting nobody likes reading nobody holds a book and read it but if you develop this skill it definitely going or is going to grow your mentality you are going to have a lot of knowledge a lot of knowledge in order to help you express yourself easily and simply yeah you can get the other skill which is listening in order to help you get fluent more in the language okay but fluency means that to have something inside of your mind you need to spit it out okay uh, listening teaches you the way you say the things the way you say the things but listening is limited reading is not limited if you read more you are going to feed your mind more with more expressions and more vocabulary therefore you will be able to spit them out and write them down the both skills got it my name is Khalid uh, I don't know I speak uh, بعدين يعني في السنين الماضية الناس الزمان كومبير يعني مع الناس الأسي يعني زمان كان بيقروا القصص بتاعت في المناهج بتاعتهم يجيوا القصص بتاعت فيتنام قصص بتاعت ناس فيتنام والملك أسي الآن إحنا ما يعني إنجليزي بتاعنا تعبان جدا جدا والحلول والحلول شنو ممكن إنك تقدمها لنا الأساس إننا نستفيد ونتكلم اللغة الإنجليزية One of the things that um, I would like to highlight in, 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 in the things that you said is that right now our generation is not as fluent as the previous generation. I think the the main problem or the core problem is within our or the mentality that, that, that the previous generation has raised us uh, in, which is being shy to, to, to speak English. I, I affirm that each single one of us right now if we went out of um, the military headquarters in the, the transports and we started to, to speak in English uh, you will find most of the people that they are looking at you strangely that what is he doing that uh, he, he wants to show us that he knows how to speak English ah, forget him just show up this is the main problem that, that uh, within our, our community that they look at the English speaker as uh, a person who wants just to show off and to, 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 to show others that I know how to speak like foreign people and I know how to speak English and, and learn from me. We should um, take this, um, sorry, but let me say that this primitive idea that not every English speaker that you find on the street he is trying to show off. Maybe that has, uh, as Mr. Ansari said, that he is trying to create a um, healthy environment in order to develop himself with, uh, or uh, his, himself in. Get it? So it's not only about showing, showing off. Maybe that I, I don't have, for example, person to speak uh, English with, so I'm starting to speak English with myself. I'm not showing off. I'm trying to, 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 to create an environment in which that I could develop myself um, um, like much get it and one of the most devastating things that the previous uh, regime has built in, in, in our has found in, in our education system the thing of the English um, subject uh, to be exact the teachers or uh, the teachers or our teachers in the primary school and the high school they used to teach us English and mathematics and they are not like each other at all you cannot teach me for example that um, 
Uh, present symbol, if you want to use present symbol, um, you find often, usually, and um, if you find often, usually, then you search for uh, she, he, it, then you put S, E, S, or S. Um, if you do not find those, this is not present symbol, no. They have taught us, or they have learned us that English is an equation. If you find, uh, or if you found this, put this. If you do not find this, put this. No. English is not mathematics. English is a language. Language is being or, uh, or it is about interaction. It's about speaking. It's about sharing. Get it? It's not about memorizing thing and putting the thing uh, which is in uh, your mind, you put it on the paper. No, it is not math uh, uh, it's not equations. Things that you acquire, you learn, you speak with, you interact with. And this is the main problem um, in my point of view that they used to teach us English as mathematics, not as a language to speak with. Uh, others? Uh, for two times, uh, I studied uh, in uh, Bahari University. After uh, separation in Sudan, after uh, separation in Sudan from uh, to north and south, it's called uh, Juba, Juba University. So I, uh, we, we, we studied by uh, English language, uh, made a, a scientific, a scientific uh, subject by English language. Uh, that uh, uh, feed me more, uh, more, uh, more English language. All of I talk about uh, now from uh, from our uh, studying uh, in, 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 our, in our college engineering. Uh, so how can uh, English language uh, be more uh, good than uh, Eng than Arabic? Yeah, the تعريب تعريب ولا English in 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 our studying in university. Okay, thank you for this chance. Uh, really want to highlight uh, some points uh, has been mentioned by you. Uh, firstly, I would like to talk about the uh, pronunciation as a, a part of the language. Uh, all of us, we know that there is uh, four skills, but well, uh, mostly we uh, concentrate on uh, two, which is uh, reading and speaking. Uh, mostly, uh, which has been uh, considered on the uh, two, uh, two levels of the education, uh, primary and secondary school, uh, are those uh, uh, in reading, okay? All the teachers are concentrating on reading and uh, teach us how to read uh, without like uh, uh, speaking and without even know how to write uh, or how to listen, okay? Uh, listen is a skill and uh, I'm asking, you know, those uh, who are uh, in, the, in the coming uh, okay, generation should uh, apply this skill in order to be uh, one of the subjects in, uh, in the primary school uh, because it's really uh, important. Uh, secondly, I would like to say that uh, okay, uh, whether this problem, uh, uh, this problem uh, for, for teachers uh, or uh, students, the, the, the pronunciation. Okay, for example, like uh, when I was in the uh, primary school, really, uh, I do like English and I do love English. Okay, uh, that was my beginning. Okay, with the stories like uh, uh, I start, you know, like firstly uh, we started in level five in primary school, uh, and uh, what I mostly liked it, uh, uh, at that time uh, was. English is really different from the Arabic and the, the conversation in English is really different than Arabic. Uh, so for example, in, in, in Arabic, okay, when someone starts the, the conversation, uh, okay, only the, the, the one who starts the conversation will continue asking, you know, like for example, what's your name? Okay, the, 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 the other speaker will say, uh, my name is Ahmed, for example, and you know, like the other speaker will continue asking and asking until uh, he will finish all his own, uh, questions and then you know like the conversation will end up okay uh, without having more conversation but uh, what i like uh, uh, what i like it in english uh, that is like you know the conversation was started by the two two members of the conversation like you, you say uh, hi i'm uh, i'm uh, Muhammad, for example okay and the other speaker will say that okay i'm ali and then the, the, the conversation move on uh, and here is my question okay uh, are our teachers uh, uh, 
are really uh, well qualified and well, well evaluated in order to be uh, teaching in secondary school and primary school because really uh, I get problem in uh, in primary school you know like in the pronunciation uh, uh, especially uh, because you know like most teachers in the primary school they taught us like for example uh, MT okay they taught they taught uh, they taught us like uh, you know like you, know, you have to pronounce uh, MPT and this is really wrong and for example also uh, uh, farm uh, farm C okay they, you know like also uh, there is uh, they told us to pronounce as pharmacy uh, okay baham. you know there is a big problem in pronunciation you know like this this uh, this this uh, this problem is it from the teachers or from the students or from the book uh, which uh, is considered as a subject thank you When it comes to learning, the most important thing is to learn from a native speaker. Um, so you can listen as much as you can to native speakers, so as to know how to pronounce words the right way. So it is not uh, preferable to listen to Sudanese, for example, but instead listen to native speakers and try to identify the way they speak and try to follow the same way they speak and then you will have the right pronunciation but i think uh, the kalam anti revolution you know you know anti revolution انه نحن نقعد نتكلم مع الناس نقول لهم يا جماعه هو بالانجليزي ايوه احنا دارين ثقافه بتاع الانجليزي لكن تكون كيف يعني ممكن تكون شويه كده الناس تفهم منها انتوا قاعدين من جنب بتتكلموا وانا والله بلاحظ يعني ما ما عندي عداوه مع زول فيكم هنا يا جماعه اول حاجه معلش يعني لكن المفروض الحدث يكون شنو اكبر من كده انه نحن نكون مثلا عندنا هاي النقاش داير بالانجليزي لكن في مصلحه الثوره الكبيره ممكن حياته تتراوح تحس الناس قاعدين هنا المنظومه ما فاهمين حاجه صح؟ لا فاهمين قولوا يا جماعه انتوا ما في جزء جزء يعني جزء انا بقول مقترح يعني انا من انا ما اقدر احاجم زول في شخصه لا كده لكن يعني حاولوا الموضوع ده يكون بطريقه احسن يعني انتوا ناس شباب اساتذه ما شاء الله عليكم وانا بحبكم شديد والله ما عندي مشكله مع زلفي بجد يعني لكن شنو دوركم المفروض يكون اكبر من كده شديد انت 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 يلا ادينا بالظبط رايك تكون كيف يعني مين ممكن ممكن يكون مين برحور يعني انه اي زول ممكن يتكلم في اي موضوع باي لغه ما الا انجليزي يعني لا هو اصلا كده هو اصلا كده طيب هو طبعا مين برا يا استاذ احنا دمنا حارس كده لا ما انت مو طرايف وصل يعني بالراحه والناس ما في مشكلة أنا بس أوضح لك الحاجة المنبر هو اسمه منبر الباحثين السودانيين كويس؟ المنبر بيقدم يعني في كل الكتب سياسية اقتصادية بيجيبوا الناس المتخصصين في أي حاجة وبيتكلموا يعني عندهم محاضرات يعني أنت لو جيت قبل شوية كان في محاضرة قدمها في الجدول هنا في التانكيم المكتوبة في البورتي قدمها دكتور اسمه دكتور طارق تقريبا قدمها دكتور طارق بس أوضح لك أديني فرصة أوضح لك أنت ما تكلمت أديني فرصة أوضح لك فقدمها دكتور طارق آه وبعد ذاك في دوره بتاع تدريب في المخاطبه في دوره بتاع تدريب في النزعفات الاوليه دي المحاضره هسه الاخيره اللي هي سته في المخاطبه في اللغه الانجليزيه يعني الغرض انه يعلموا الناس محاضره باللغه الانجليزيه لو كنت انت حاضر قبيل دكتور انور يتكلم عن انه نحن عشان اي بدينا فرصه بس نوضح لك دكتور انور يتكلم عن انه نحن عشان 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 نتكلم عن مستقبل السودان ما نوريك عشان هو بالعكس انا داير اوريك نحن قاعدين نتكلم عن المستقبل دكتور انور قال عشان نحن نتكلم عن المستقبل بتاع السودان ونلحق الدول قال محتاجين للغه الانجليزيه هو المزول من المنبر هنا فقال من باب الحاجه دي نحن محتاجين نطور اللغه الانجليزيه بتاعتنا ودول الاساتذه دي يعني شكرا لهم بيتكلموا هم وبيدوا الناس فرصه يتكلموا بحيث انه الناس تمر لسانها كيف تتعلم اللغه الانجليزيه وكيف تقول اللغه اللغه الانجليزيه باعتبار السودان المستقبل ان نحن بنتكلم عنه الناس تكون جاهزه في الوقت ده قاعده فهمت فانت اللي كنت ما في وما حضرتها فشو رايك يعني نحن شاكرينه لكن بس انت ما كنت حاضر من الاول عشان كده قلت كلامك بس Okay, um, others, you have anything to say? Good. Then, um, yes, welcome. Assalamu alaikum, Shabab. 
معاكم مهندس يحيى ممكن بالنسبه لي بالنسبه لي انتم يعني في فريق بتاع سنين طويله وانا عايش تجارب كثيره غير السودان والدول السودانية جزء منها الاكتظاظ ومتابعنا من امريكا كنا في فتره زمنيه مع بعض بعد ذاك الظروف اختلفت بقيت انا في الخليج وجا الحقيقه تقريبا في الخليج هسه حاليا انا في منطقه مختلفه زون جغرافي مختلف جدا عن يمكن كلشر اللي هي جنوب وسط اسيا او وسط اسيا اللي هم ناس تقريبا ديفلوبينج يعني النقطه اللي بتكلم عنها الاخوان موضوع اللغه الانجليزيه هم بيتمسكوا يعني انا بالنسبه لي بالنسبه لهم يعني بتكلم لغه بطريقه كويسه الزول في شارع بالبطن بيقول لي انت بتعرف انجليزي انا عايز اتعلم يعني المساله هي ما مساله زي ما قال الاخ شو ولا هي هي رغبه والواقع الواقع بتاعنا مثلا لو مشيت قدرت تفتش اي معلومه في في الانترنت هتلقى انه 90% من المعلومات باللغه الانجليزيه انا بالنسبه لي انا فايتهم لان هم بيتكلموا روسي انا لما بدي اعمل سيرش لموضوع بديهم حلول احسن لانه انا قادر انه انا اتعاون مع اللغه الانجليزيه وحسب الخلفيه جاتني فانا ما انا شخصيا كده آه مع انه الناس يعني تتجاوز حتى موضوع اللغه تتعلم غير الانجليزيه لغات اضافيه لكن بس في نقطه ثانيه برضه الناس يعني لو قدرت تاخذها في الاعتبار احنا اولاد ناس بيقروا في مدارس انترناشونال فعندنا مشكله بتاعت انه بقى اللغه الانجليزيه آه فيها ميجورتي فالناس برضه ما يعني ما تخفل اللغه الام المذر تانك بتاعتنا وهسه تقريبا يعني هنا في توجه بعد الثوره الناس هنا حتى اللغه اللغات اللوكل يعني انا هسه مثلا من المناطق اللي حسبت عندنا آه لغات لوكال اكيد في مجموعات من الشباب هنا عندهم برضه آه لغات محليه والناس تشجعها برضه يعني لانه هناك برضه بيعتزوا يعني بيعتزوا باللغه المحليه بتاعتهم اللي هي بالاضافه الى اللغه الروسيه الروسيه باعتبارها هي اللغه الاوفيشال لكن في لغه محليه بيحترموها جدا وبيحترموك جدا لو انت تعلمت لك منها كلمتين ولا ثلاثه احنا الميموري بتاعتنا بتسمح بانه نقدر نستوعب كثير فما نحد نفسنا في في اتجاه انه نحن لا عرب عرب ونجي زي ما عملت زي ما بقول الانقاذ دمرت اللغه وخلت انه الناس بس يعني عربي وبقى انه لا لمينا في بلحشام ولا هنا باليمن يعني فشكرا على تحت الفرصه وحبيت اضيف الاضافه دي لانه انا التجربه مرت بها فريش يعني فريش انه الناس اي زول في الشارع بيقابلك انت بتعرف انجليزي عليك الله يديني معاك فرصه انا داير اتكلم معاك بالواتساب بشنو في شغف يعني مع ان هي اللغه الروسيه برضه لغه ما سهله بالنسبه للعالم لغه برضه محترمه وعندها منتوج صناعي وثقافي وكله ثقافتهم وحياتهم كلها يعني ريتش جدا استيل يعني الناس برضه عايزه تخترق العالم الثاني تعرف معلومات وكذا وشكرا لكم ونتمنى لكم ان شاء الله يعني رحله موفقه نحو مستقبل السودان شكرا لكم Guys, I think this is all what we have uh, from time. Um, the program will will be held every day uh, at nine o'clock, um, and I guess as of the next days, it will be a bit different. We'll be seated in a in a circle, a very big circle. Uh, each person will have the chance to discuss, and we'll agree on a topic to start our discussion with. Uh, we really appreciate your presence here today, and we. Hope to see you tomorrow and in the coming days. Thank you very much. شكرا جزيلا للأساسة يعني على تأسيسه من هذه المخاطبة وده الليلة أول ليلة شباب والناس تجي هنا دوت تمارس المخاطبة بتاعت اللغة الإنجليزية أساسا نجهز نفسنا يا إخوانا للدولة الدائرينها عشان مطالبنا صابنا لا دي نكون جاهزين لها إن شاء الله في المستقبل سقطت ما سقطت صابنا حبايبنا يعطيكم العافية